What's up guys? What's up? Today we have ourselves a nice little local pickup. You know, it was Monday, right? It was Monday. It was Monday, uh Monday. I was yeah. <coughs> sick. This man was <coughs> oh, sick, calling sick. You know, I woke up at uh I was sick though. I was sick. Slight sick. I was sick for some shoes. Alright, but luckily you know, woke up, checked my phone. The first thing I do every morning, check my phone. It's such a millennial thing to do. But I uh, checked my phone, and then the moment I checked my phone, I got a tweet out there that said, that Ubik's release said, we just dropped all these Ultra, uh, Ultra Boost 4.0s. You know, I checked it out, looked on the website, everything was sold out. So, luckily, I got the uh, the place's uh, phone number on my... Uh, Speed dial. I'll speed dial on my phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My cat, I called him up. Hey, man, you got my size? They said, yes, we do. So I walked over to across the hall to my brother's room and I said, you want to pick up some shoes? He said, yes, please. And so we got, we went out ahead, drove all the way ass all down to fucking Georgetown. 40 minutes away. It's not 40 minutes, 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, Georgetown, you know? And uh, we went, got ourselves a nice little uh, pickup, you know? Big bag. We were the first people in the store trying to buy these too. Ironically, yes, we were. First uh, people. You know, it's good that. Oh, wait, that we do, did I say the name of the place yet? Don't tell them. Some people. Isn't some, it on the bag? So, so, some people. I'm not gonna say it. So, Cause some, some of my subscribers had posted before and said, no, please do not drop the name because I don't want all the hype beasts to steal the shoes. So I'm not gonna drop the name. It's on the bag. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna say it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> I did, it. Like, I, it. I did it say it, but whatever. But here we go. Got the shoes, got the shoes for Ultra 4.0. It took us four generations to get this shoe. Four motherfucking generations, you know. Oh, and here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Four took the fourth mother effing time. Fourth motherfucking time. So I normally wear a size 12 and a half. But these are size 12 and they fit actually not too bad, like kind of kind of snug, but whatever, they're, they're comfy still. Ultra Boost, you know, Ultra Boost is still comfy as hell. So, one, one thing I like, uh, I think that Ultra Boost usually fit pretty tight, correct? Yeah, the cage, the cage does. The cage fit pretty, I'm, talk, yeah, I'm talking about just Ultra Boost, yes, just the traditional Ultra Boost fit, fit pretty tight, correct? Yeah. So, how would you say that they have varied from generation to generation to generation, because you, because you, Mr. I skipped number three. He skipped number three, but he has basically gotten one of every single generation. So how would you how would you categorize the fit for all these shoes? I think the fit is honestly the fit's all pretty much the same. I'll be at this one. Um, this might be because I have a broken foot, slightly repaired broken foot, but like it doesn't squeeze my uh, my toe box as much on these. Like uh, my feet aren't as aren't as cramped. Like if this is my feet, right? Like I've said before, I got I got flat pancake feet. So like it doesn't it doesn't squeeze my feet from the insides as much. That's that's the main thing that I've noticed. Most people might not notice the difference. Now, what about you? You have what? I am generations? I am a, a true to fit size person. I am true to fit size twelve, except for the Yeezys. Except for the Yeezys. Let me give you. I'm give trying to you guys get the nice three sixty view of the shoe. Base always looks the same. This base always looks the damn same. In other chains, I think the only thing. Wait, I thought the original one was like a flat black. There's still like gray stripes on this one. Yeah, the, I, I think like the four point. I, th I think yeah, I think the actually I think of all the of all of the, the, the triple black versions, I'm gonna have to say that the three point is definitely the best. Cause it's like murdered out. Because because, because like just design the way it is, it just looks. It's just I don't know. It just looks. I'm not a zebra. Huh? Yeah, we ain't zebras. No, it's just, it's just, I think the design of the, of the three points just looks the best. This one just looks very symmetrical, just a whole bunch of lines, you know. They just get, it looks, I don't know, it just looks more. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just gonna be upfront. We don't like the pinstripe look, to be honest. Like, on a shoe, it doesn't look right. That's just, that's just how it is. I don't know, I, I, 
I, I think I uh, I think the first generation is the best. The first generation was like almost solid black, just flat, just flat, flat, just flat just like, murdered out. But like I said, it took us four freaking generations to get this freaking shoe. Four. Which was a hey, one thing we noticed is that these retail for 180. Yeah. Instead of 200, you exactly. know, because Adidas be like, oh, we charge you 20 bucks for that paint job. Yes, I know, right? For some reason, all the former uh, generations all were, like you said, 200 motherfucking bones. But these, like when we, we went to the store, they rang them up like 180. I was like, 180? 180. What, what, I was like, 180, what? What? I was like, what? Damn. But still, like I said, I, I am glad that I got these, you know. I have my uh, my other triple, my fake triple black threes. Not really fake shoes, but I call them the fake because they're not really real triple black. They're, they're, no they're double they, black with some gray. Yeah, they're double black with double some gray. Black with some but gray. they call them triple black, you know, but I don't know why. But and those are my beater shoes right now. I wear them to a little bit, too, too freaking beat. And then once I wear them to beat, I'm going to rock these, you know. This man right here was like, I'm going to buy myself some core black ultra boots and I'm going to wear them to beat. But luckily, he did not impulsively buy them, and now he has triple black, which he's gonna wear to, to be. be. This motherfucker was on the Ultra Boost game way before everybody. When they first came out, when Kanye first wore the triple white um, uh, uh, yeah. Ultra Boost, the first generation, and the, first and, then the, and then the moment they wore them, this motherfucker went to, where, 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 where side did you get them from? It was like, was it like Rock Creek Sports? It was so weird. So, yeah. so weird, I was, I was so scared. I like, I went to like the Better Beer Business Bureau research them, like, is this place legit? I, I like emailed them, I like, I like searched everything there, like a, a, like an actual Adidas customer they were, bought a size 12 and a half from them, and like legit, it was that one point, I remember the one point was were sold out fucking everywhere. No, those, that, those are the days when the moment that the Ultra Boost came out, the core blacks or whites just been sold bam, out. sold out. Instantly. Sold out instantly. This man for a while had to go to like a third party side to get them. And they were, and now. They are real. So they, yes, they are real. They, they are they, real. They were, uh, they were, uh, they were the Oceans before they had the, the Continental on there. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's pretty nice. And then he wore, he has worn them to freaking be. Like, oh, I, actually, let me grab them real quick. I've, I've retired them kindly because, you know. It's bad when people are like, oh man, you got the, you got the, you know, what are they called? You got the beige ones? You got, you got the pay, the beige Ultra Boost, my, or the tan Ultra oh, Boost? My God! Oh, no, I don't have tan Ultra Boost. I just oh, like, fucked up my shoes. So my bad. God! Look at this shit. This shit is so freaking. It's, it's so freaking dirty. Look, this shit ain't even white no more. They look like creams. Yep. <laughs> they look. Like, look, look. They just literally have the uh, no continental, no continental. Shit, man, you wore these to freaking beat. Hey, what do, what do we say here? We wear our sneakers, man. Damn, man, you were... Yeah, I actually, I actually like the cage better. You know what I'm from the, from we look at, Let's look at the oldest model versus the newest model. The oldest model had a nice, solid plastic, or it feels like plastic, I don't know, yeah. plastic, um, cage. This one is more like, more like a, uh, more like a, uh, like a cloth. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like, it's like a more oh, like a wow. felt like a fabric type of thing, and then when like on top of like rubber, rubber or plastic, it so gives more. Maybe that's why it feels looser. Yeah, it, it gives a lot definitely more. gives more. So it's different design, you know. Um, the cage is not as solid anymore. It's kind of like like ribbed. So maybe the yeah, just that. Oh wow, you know what I'm saying? I didn't notice that. It's, it's different. Like the design, like. The the shoe overall looks the looks the same, but I guess that what they have just put little variations in it in different ways, you know. So I like it. What would you say? I, I would say this doesn't this isn't as good as the original. Like I said, the original will always be better. The pattern of the original. Yes, the this pattern of the original the will always be the better. best. But like I said, I can't mad. The fourth time worked. The fourth time was the charm. And hey, first you not if you first you don't succeed, try 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 again, my friend. Who sings, who sings that? If that, brushes don't succeed. That's a Leo, right? I'm not sure. You gotta try it again. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's Aaliyah. I'm pretty sure that's Aaliyah. I don't know. I think it's either that or like Beyonce or some shit. I'm pretty sure or it's like Aaliyah. Child. I, I, it's I'm one, sorry to everyone out there who listens to like 90s, you know, <laughs> music. We, we are born in the 90s. We're just, we're brain farting, guys. Pretty sure it's Aaliyah. It's 11 o'clock. I don't put money on it as Aaliyah, but whatever. Anyway, Tell us who you think sang that song. Anyways, like I said, we finally got our shoes. You know, that's our that's our take on it. Um, I give it a nice eight eight point five out of ten because of the material, of the fabric. I, I wish the design was more more of a solid black. That's that's yeah. my only knock on it. I'll give you Every, I, everything else I like. Yeah, I'll say the same. Yep. 
I'll give it an eight. If it was a, if it was a flat black, the cage itself already has enough like texture or looks not like this. If you look again, this cage is like just just one color. Like the, the cage on this is enough like um, differentiation that they could just make this flat. It would look sexy as hell. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. But anyways, that is this week's video. We got ourselves the triple black. Oh sorry, the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 triple black. Yeah, no, yeah. surprise, surprise drop, surprise drop. I'm glad we picked it up because last week was new on New Year's Day that they that Adidas dropped them. Yeah, we were hung over. This man was passed the fuck out. Couldn't get the shoe. I would try it on my damn phone, but the service man was some cut. So it was sold out immediately. But you know what? Patience is a virtue and waiting always. Comes to those. Yeah, we have all these good, good proverbs thing. in this video. Good things always come to those who wait. So good things come to those who wait. We waited, and guess what? We were able to finally get the shoe. Four times to try. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week. Peace. I'll see you maybe next week. <laughs>